now, guys, full spoilers. Okay, full spoilers for this. post credit scene, Spider-Man, Far From Home, you've been warned. Click off the video. So, mid credit scene. The mid credit scene picks up, and just quickly bear in mind, right? This is what everyone, every single reviewer was saying, we love this. This is amazing. The credit scene is the best that Marvel has ever done. So, let's take a look at why. And see if it was all just PR bollocks. So the mid credit scene picks up immediately where the movie ends. As Spider-Man swings through New York City with MJ. After setting her down and leaping on top of a nearby lamppost. A news report starts playing on one of Madison Square Garden's big screens. With a breaking story from the DailyBugle.net. So I like that. That's good. It sets up the Daily Bugle. The site has acquired an exclusive video from the movie's final battle. And the anchor then passes things over to J. Jonah Jemison, played by J.K. Simmons. He's back. <laughs> yes. J.K. Simmons is J. Jonah Jemison. There is no one else that can play that role. He is J.K. Uh, he is J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jemison. So anyway, he shares a video uh, Mysterio recorded, which he's manipulated to make it appear as if Spider-Man was the one attacking the city and claims that the wall crawler has taken him out because he wants to be the new Tony Stark. Jameson brands Spidey a menace and blames him for the murder of the world's greatest superhero before sharing the second half of the video. In that, Mysterio reveals that Spider-Man is Peter Parker and a photo of the high school student is shown on the screen as the hero watches on in horror and we return to the credits. Now, a few things that's interesting here. One, J.K. Simmons is back. Why? Um, how does that how does that establish anything? Is he pulled in from another Spider-Man universe? Is the Tobey Maguire universe an alternate universe? What's going on? Secondly, Mysterio showing you know videos and stuff like that. It's good that this sets up why J. Jonah Jameson hates Spider-Man, right? Because obviously we've always known that he hates Spider-Man, but why? This then establishes that firmly. Um, and gets them off to a, you know, a bad start. But it's interesting how Peter Parker's identity is revealed. Which we thought that was going to happen. Because of the Iron Spider-Man suit and things like that. But apparently not. Now, it continues. The after credit scene. So this is the one that... You know, the overall post credit scene. The after credit scene kicks off with Nick Fury and Maria Hill driving together. And it's then that they transform into Talos and his wife. They've been scrolls all along. And while you might think this is the start of a secret invasion, we quickly learn that Talos, who hasn't aged a day, is covering for the real Fury. So where is he? Well, he's taking a much-needed vacation. And after receiving a call from Talos, we learn that the former S.H.I.E.L.D. director is chilling out on a beach, which turns out to be a simulation on a spaceship full of scrolls. It seems Fury has decided to spend some time in space with Captain Marvel, who isn't shown, and the scene ends with him asking the aliens if they've seen his shoes. It's a moment played for laughs and seemingly not one that will have any huge ramifications. Now, it's really surprising that that would happen. I mean, look, they were bound to do something like that again. I'll be keen to know when they filmed this, whether they filmed it alongside Captain Marvel or not. Um, but yeah... Very, very interesting to hear. I, I don't know whether this is... Like this mid credit scene, I wouldn't say this is the best that Marvel has ever done. Um, but it, it's it's a fair one. It's a pretty damn good uh, you know, post credit scene. I just don't know whether it's one which we can say is the very best. Um, J.K. Simmons being in it is just... That's going to light up the theatre. Everyone's going to love that. Um, does definitely sets up why J. Jonah Jameson hates him. Now, Talos and his wife, the Scrolls, great. Sad that it doesn't set up a secret invasion. We thought, we, we've long thought that that was going to happen, that we were going to get that, but it appears not. Um, and he's just chilling in space. I mean, that's fine. Absolutely fine. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be keen to hear your thoughts. Uh, is this good? Is this bad? Let me know down below.